Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Your Universe's 3 Divine Wind, Death and Taxes with your host Shadow Cutter playing as Bromania, the year is 1496. And yes, that is Ferrara over here in Croatian territory because uh, they think they're badass. And it's just really weird. I'm surprised the uh, Croatian nationalist armies have not kicked Ferrara out yet. But so be it. Let's speed time up. Let's see, at the end of the last episode, Persia just got into a bunch of wars. Najd, Bengal... Oh, but Najd is the leader. Damn. Really should have had Golden Horde as the leader. But yeah, so they're at war with a lot of people. Which gives us opportunity to go to war with them. And since, uh, since the defender of the Sunni faith is Golden Horde, and Golden Horde is at war with Persia, then they won't... Uh, they won't give us any hassle. So we're going to cancel access, just in case we do want to go to war with them. I'm thinking we do. We'll see if it actually comes to that, though. So let's see. We don't need that general there anymore, since that war is over. And we'll have this army right here. That's only three armies over here on the Persian front, though. We should probably shift some power over. We'll bring you down to Dalmatia. We'll bring you over to Adrianople. And that should still be good coverage. Yeah, everyone's going to war with Persia. That's good, that's good. Speed of succession, defender of the faith. Uh, Imperial Administration, Cultural Unity, no, we're not going to do that. Yeah, someone was saying, why don't you pop out cores, you know, why don't you do Cultural Unity? And the reason I don't is because it's really silly to do that. It, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, the idea that you can get rid of someone else's cores. Like, Plovdiv here is Bulgarian core, and I don't see any reason why it shouldn't be Bulgarian core. I mean, it's fucking Bulgarian territory, you know? They're just part of our larger Bromania, that's all. So they can keep their little cores, you know, uh, Byzantium can keep their cores. Who's this? Naxos has a core. Athens has a core. I mean, there's no reason not to have them have their little cores. Yes, it does give people opportunity to spawn nationalist re rebellions in our lands. Yes, it does increase the revolt risk over here. Not the point. The point is those lands are, you know, Greek lands, and these lands are Byzantine lands, and these are Bulgarian lands, and these guys are Moldavian lands. You know, there's no reason why they shouldn't still be Moldavian core lands. Anyway, my little spiel is done. Papal State declared war on Ferrara. Eh. Everyone's joining against Ferrara. Alright, you've arrived in Dalmatia. You can just chill there. Alright, how many? You only have four, so you need some more guys. One, two, three. So that'll give you ten and four. So we need more dudes. There. Ooh, new land tech. Eastern militia. Ooh, well, I hope they're good. Let's take a look. Oh, we have a Casus Belli on Ferrara now. Really? Very cool. We're not going to bother with it, but yeah. Alright, so let's look at our new units. Eastern militia. Yeah, they're slightly better. We'll take it. It's a morale bonus for attacking and defending. Are all of our ships done? No, still one more ship. Okay, so let's see what happened here. The Teutons lost their war against Brandenburg. They'll seed Memel. So Brandenburg now has more unconnected territory. Uh, release Smolensk over here. And that's it. 
Oh, I'm surprised Brandenburg won, but hey, good job Brandenburg, I guess. And Bohemia has finally successfully invaded Bavaria. And all of Bavaria's vassals. Bavaria has a buttload of little <laughs> satellite states. Damn, high five England. I'm really surprised that we got that alliance with them, but there we go. So Persia is hopefully going to pull all of its units away from my border, and that'll give me an opportunity to invade without much uh, problems. Let's see, Worn by Persia, Golden Horde. Who are you allied with? Zaporozhye and Sibir. So, yeah. So none of these little dudes are going to join in. Uh, Najd and the Mamluks. Naj and the Mamluks. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's just going to be Persia. Alright, let's move one up again. You're going to have to get around somehow. Do I have access through here? I do not. Hmm. Do I have access here? Maybe. I want to try to get access there. Ah, oh, they said no. Uh, 18? That's not bad. We'll go sit in Konya. That can support 20. Ah, oh, shit. We're full of uh, magistrates. Okay. Oh, our embassy ran out. Oh, shit balls. Um. Let's see, 1526. That's only 30 years about this one. 1514. Damn. We haven't taken over any land in a while, have we? 1520. Ah, here we go. 1544. But we don't border anyone there, so we can't build an embassy. You, have, you can only build it if you border some other country there. Uh, This might be our best bet. I don't see anything else that's longer than 1526. All right, I guess it's Crane. That's just a, a lot of money to spend. That's, you know, 500 ducats for something that only lasts 30 years. One of our advisors has published a crowning achievement in his literary career, The Spirit of Laws. Oh, we gain stability or gain prestige. We don't need the stability... We're going to get it back next year anyway. Declaring war is not going to be a stability hit at all. So we'll do the prestige. Cool. Thank you very much. Government tech plus 15. Where's our other general? Up here? Yeah. There we go. So we're just going to have to flood in from this way and see. Let's see, they haven't invaded Delhi at all. They haven't invaded Najd at all. They haven't invaded the Golden Horde at all. So there's like nothing going on that I can see in that war. How's our war exhaustion? It's pretty much zero. Still making a lot of dough. Good, good. We'll let this army finish and then we'll start the war. Maybe we can spawn another rebellion here. That'd probably only be 1,000 guys again. We need to be more than 1,000 guys. They have another small army in Slavonia. I don't know why they don't attack Ferrara's army. Switzerland's still kicking Austria's ass. That's pretty cool. Look at that. Switzerland inside Austria. That is the strangest sight. And Tyrell joined the war on Austria's side. That's not going to matter. They're too small. And Bavaria is almost completely overrun. They're toast. I don't know what they're going to do. They'll probably make them cancel vassalization of somebody. Let's see if we can 
get an eye on this war. Here it is. Uh, Persia's winning, just barely. Yeah, there they go. They've invaded Najd. We're going to bring another army over, and I'm not sure which one we should do. Uh, we're full of magistrates again. How's our relations? Plus 200. There we go, the rebels are going to, yeah, so Croatia should spawn successfully here, because the rebels just spawned again. Good job, Croatia. Throw off that Ferrarin yoke. Then Najd is actually fighting back. Delhi is fighting back, look at that. Go, Delhi! Alright, so we should... Maneuver our troops a little bit. We're going to pull you back to Zeta. And we're going to bring these guys up to Macedonia. 27. That'll work. And we'll bring you down to Adrianople. Perfect. Yeah, there goes the last Croatian territory. Shit's over. Good job, Croatia. And Switzerland is all but done. What was that about Golden Horde? Muscovy started a crusade against Golden Horde. Hmm, okay. Persia is winning their war against Najd. So, it's about time for us to start. We do need another general. No, that guy sucks. Alright, so we should start funding our troops pretty soon. I'll put it on fast forward. I want to get the war started before everything is decided down here, because I don't want Naj to surrender. If Naj surrenders, the war's over. Or they could even white piece him out. I don't want that to happen. What's their score at? Yep, they're up to seven now. What about the military power? Oh, they haven't really lost anything, have they? Golden Horde? Still pretty powerful. Alright, we'll go to July. There you go. So Bavaria will end the vassalization of Baden and Thuringia. Yep, good job, Bohemia. Persia will cede Kohistan. Alright, so Delhi is out of the war, but Najd is still in it. But without Delhi, yeah, they're at 14 now. Without Delhi, it's pretty much over. Still got the Golden Horde on your ass, though. more months. Western arms trade is gone. That's fine. There we go. Pause, please. Good. Pause. Ah, oh, shit. The Golden Horde is out of the war. Oh, that's pretty much the end of Najd. Alright, let's fund our troops. Get you guys in position. Actually, just chill for 
No, no, let's go down this way. We'll bring you guys up. Should be fine. Alright, we're good. Oh, but now the Golden Horde is out of the war. See, that's what I didn't want. I wanted the Golden Horde to be in the war. Hmm. Well, everyone's going to join it, so we'll do it. And we'll get staging set up. Zaporozzi did not join, and it looks like Golden Horde didn't join either. Yeah, it's just Persia. Cool. Slow down time a bit. There we go. And we need to flood in as quickly as possible. Oh, one of our generals died already. Oh, that's fine. Still sucks, but whatever. Persia NX Kazakh. Okay. So they're going to start bringing their military power back, which is considerable. Move up. Bavaria annexed Saxony. Good job, Bavaria. Revolt in Albania. Oh no. Whatever will I do? And Croatia has successfully revolted. Nothing Ferrara can do about it now, so that shit's over. I should see a newly, newly freed Croatia very soon. Stability's back up plus three. Let's see. We have a bunch of Diplos. We should probably Diplo, Diplo. What can we do? We need to keep trying for that marriage. Keep trying for that marriage. There we go. And we got Sweden. Cool. just a little bit. There we go. Now they don't want to come. Arrive on the 12th, they arrive on the 8th. That's fine. Now they don't want to go. <laughs> Ferrara collapsed. Croatia's independent. Yep, that's what we figured would happen. Truce with Ferrara. Reconquest on us. Well, here's where we have options. We could try to go peacefully. I mean, they are orthodox, so we might be able to offer vassalization if we get allied and marriage. Or we could send them a warning, and then if they get into any wars, we can declare war on them and probably vassalize them. It's probably a better option, so let's send a warning. And if they do anything, we'll just go kick their ass. Because we're friendly like that. They're going to attack me here in Jirasun on the 22nd, which is fine. I want them to. 
There we go. They have a negative one penalty, that's fine. And we will go kick their ass. Oh my god, that hurts. What the fuck? Oh my goodness, that hurts. We're not even gonna arrive until mid-December. Oh good, they're running away. Oh good, we're gonna arrive first. Alright, you need to replenish. Um, go over here, replenish over there. Yeah. Let's see if we can hold off these troops for a bit. They seem pretty powerful. Oh, they lost their general. Awesome. Kill them. Ow. Kill them. Good numbers. Good numbers. Keep it up. They're running to Diyarbakir. Can we beat them? Yes, we can. Excellent. See if we can kill that army. Yep, yeah, that army's dead. We're up to 6% already. Are they willing to get peace? No, they don't want any peace. Alright. But that is one of their armies gone. They still have 210, 215,000 guys. That's a lot. A lot more than we have, that's for damn sure. Our army is ready. Good, good. We need to come here. Or here, I guess. Seven uh, percent. Yeah, they just don't value any of this shit because it's so far away. Well, it, they have so much territory, so it doesn't matter to them very much. You're going to deceive us. You're going up here. Okay. You have some boats over here. Yeah. That's fine. Bohemia's bringing their awesome awesome units down. So they're still at war with Najd, and yeah, they are committing some troops down there. It's good. Probably going to have to bring these guys back to deal with the armies that's coming this way. So we'll go to Erzurp to Herpader, and you guys can chill in Ursurum. See what happens when they get to Sivas. Where will they go? They're running to Sinop. Interesting. And they're going to get there after my buddy's army leaves. Couple days. One, two, three. There. Alright, you're still going to Sinop. That's fine, I guess. Here we go. 7,000. Yeah. We want them to land before we go anywhere. Pride still don't want peace, do you? Oh yeah, they do. Look at that. Now they're willing to accept peace. So if we don't get too crazy, they'll just give us whatever the fuck we want. And you know what? That's actually pretty reasonable. What I'm thinking is we can build a defensive line like this, and then free Syria from the Mamluks. But yeah, something like this would be a good start. I mean, that's pretty much all that we were looking for. 
And that way we don't have to worry about, you know, going head to head with the brunt of their army right now. God, look at that if we made them spit out the Chobanids. That'd be 76 war score. It's ridiculous. Or Georgia. But yeah, I'm, I'm surprised they actually want peace already. But you know what? I'm fine with that. There's, We don't need to prove anything to them. So, yeah, how about that and some cash? Oh god, look how rich they are. We'll just take a little cash. Three hundred and fifty gold or ducats, five infamy, and some coastal territory on the Black Sea. There you go. War's over. That was very easy. We didn't even have to twist their finger or anything. Alright, you can go back to Constantinople. Go back to Budgic. Go back to Zeta and Cocelli. Actually we're gonna need a new army over here, aren't we? Who can support 20? Probably Sinop is the best option. Alright, you can go back to Karaman. I think instead of Kocheli, we'll make you the Sinop army. Back to Larissa, back to Gores. And we're done. And that was awesome. And we can finally use our missionaries again. Ooh, we got more copper. Nice. Alright, don't fund the troops anymore. And get everyone home. Holy War on Dulcadur. Okay. Oh, yeah, they're allied with the Mamluks, so we'll deal with that when we deal with the Mamluks. But for now, I mean, shit, that's good. Have to see. Oh, our relations are only at negative 170. I'm surprised. I'll have to try to give them access again. <laughs> Nobles demand privileges. Give them aristocracy, or revolt risk goes up slightly. Do I want aristocracy? Plutocracy gives us more money because of uh, trade and production efficiency. This one gives us leadership shock. Cavalry cost goes down. Manpower and force limits go up. I'm fine with aristocracy, man. Yep. Well, nice doing business with you, Persia. Uh, England started the second English war of aggression against Connaught. Alright. Whatever. Whatever. Oh, we've been warned by uh, Saruhan and Eretnitz. Yes, please warn us. You little one-state miners, what are you going to do? <laughs> that was hilarious, because Persia was preoccupied with this other war they have going on. They just give us all the land we took. They're like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> now we just have to spread orthodoxy, which is slow, because we're only getting zero point. Oh my goodness! <gasps> Burgundy is the emperor? Really? Yeah, no one's voting for Bohemia anymore. Wow. This is where we give Bohemia a hug. Oh, there's a two-year-old guy that's leading it. No wonder. Uh, they got to accept marriage at some point, right? Hey, you guys want access? <laughs> oh, they said no.
Nodge will seed by rain, musket, and Niswa. So, musket, Niswa, and Bahrain. Poor Naj, that is getting sliced up piece by piece. Wars in India, that's nice. Doesn't bother us in the slightest. Still haven't been able to convert Antoya. Okay, you made it home. You made it home. Everybody has made it home, I believe. Yeah, all of our armies are positioned. We're under our force limits. Yeah, we have room for more. Our ships are done building. Come back over here. And I think we're good. Do we have any new buildings we need to build? Nope. Do a march we don't want. Dry docks don't want. Courthouse don't want. So let's do some culture. Cultural tradition. One, two, three, four. Do we have a dude that we want? Not really. But we could always build a guy and then someone else will buy him. We're still losing inflation slowly, which is great. We could do a specialist. Which what do we have right now? We have Yeah, prestige. Why don't we do a specialist for land tech? Hmm not that one. It's not a sheriff. Here you go, army reformer, land tech investment, yeah. But we have very low army tradition. Alright, we'll wait till our army tradition goes up, but for now we'll just keep doing paintings. I like paintings. Uh, yeah, I think, unless we want a uh, treasurer for trade investment or a production dude. Hmm, because this guy gives prestige as well. Just not as much. Actually, yeah, that's a great idea. Because he gives prestige, and we want prestige anyway. Bingo. There we go. Bye-bye, prestige, dude. Yeah, production tech for the win. And since we're... So we have a specialist for production tech now, we don't need to fund it as much. So we'll bring it down to... We'll put it the same as government tech. 27.5 or something. Please to be clicking button. There we go. Lock it in. That was pretty hilarious. There's, we killed one of their armies and they just want to come right in. Josen wants to open up market so that the merchants can trade in it. Who's Joseon? Or Joseon? Oh, that's Korea. Sure. You can trade in my markets, Korea. Did I get a new center of trade or something? No, you guys are trading in Aleppo, so no, I didn't get any new centers of trade. Oh, look at all that value. 1,011. Delicious. Ooh, Austria has invaded Switzerland. Interesting. You guys want peace? No. Dumb motherfuckers. Well, we're out of time. So I hope you enjoyed our time together today. We got a lot done. We had that really quick war. Oh god, you need some funding. We had that really quick war. It was over in the blink of an eye. And besides that, we've just been peaceful. We watched Croatia get, get spawned. Uh, they don't have any alliances. We've already warned them. God damn it, stop being in Bohemia's sphere. 
Whoa, we lost relations with them by a hundred. They must have claimed someone's throne. God damn it. That's probably why they didn't get a re-elected emperor. I don't see claiming throne of anyone, but they probably are. Anyway, let's uh, get relations back up. Send them some dough. Oh, and since since they are no longer the emperor, guess what? Now we can remove these guys from the Holy Roman Empire. Oh, wait, why not? Oh, we have to be at peace. Okay. That's what I was waiting for. We can remove these from the Holy Roman Empire as soon as we're at peace. So hurry up, England. We converted Jerison already. That was fucking quick. Will you fucking hurry up, England? There you go. End the war. Um, Connaught was annexed by Denmark. <laughs> really? Wow. England's going to be pissed at you now, Denmark. Anyway. We are at peace. So let's get these out of the empire. Lose prestige, lose magistrate. It's fine. Lose prestige, lose magistrate. That's fine. Okay, so we are now completely out of the Holy Roman Empire, right? Yes, good. And Burgundy can suck my left nut. And Bohemia, here, have some money. Western arms trade. Ferrara has been excommunicated. Would Bohemia join us? Oh, they would. Hmm. All right. So if they screw up at all, Bohemia will join us, even though uh, even though your independence is guaranteed by Bohemia. Oh no, you're in their sphere. Whatever. England declared war on Tyrone. Ugh, that's fine. It's fine. Whatever. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed our time together today. We got an alliance with England, which is super cool. High five, England. We won a war against Persia, which was really quick, but uh, it's fine by me. Uh, we've successful holy war. We've already started converting. Jerusalem is already orthodox. We're still waiting on Anatolia. And besides that, uh, everything's cool in Bohemia. You know, we don't have much infamy. We prestige is through the roof. Now we got a new uh, great dude to improve our production tech, and he also gives us some prestige. Anyway, uh, please comment, rate, and subscribe, and join us next time, where we will continue more of the same hopefully go to war to vassalize Croatia, but if not, we can always annex one of our other vassals, either Moria or Transylvania. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.